Jason Allen here from Play It Software. Today I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration of the new features in Play It Live version 1.12. Uh, in this new version we've got an updated playout log, so um, on the main interface you'll be able to scroll to any time in the log. So previously you could only see the last three tracks and then could scroll to uh, a point in the future. Um, but now you can scroll back to see what you've played even three hours ago. You could scroll forward in time uh, to see um, what you're going to play in the future and you can also plan tracks that you want to play in the future and drag and drop three days ahead if you wish. We've also added the segue editor so if you've got two tracks that are playing together you can now go and edit the segue and fine tune how those tracks are played together. So I'll demonstrate that as well. A frequently requested feature, the default segue option. So this is when you drag a new track into Play It Live. You'll be able to choose what the default segue option is. The default segue option previously was move next. So it would automatically play into the next track. So you can now change that to stop, which means it will stop playing after the track that you've dropped in. And finally, introducing voice tracking into Play It Live. Uh, a few months ago, I released Play It Voice Track, an offline voice tracking application, which allows you to record a radio show offline and mix that down to send to your radio station. Now voice tracking is integrated into the live log so you can voice track ahead of time and play this out as if it's a live radio show. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've got Play It Live up and running now. This is Play It Live version 1.12. As you can see, I've got Sam and the Womp, Bomb Bomb, and uh, a series of other tracks to follow that. As you can see, this green arrow here in, uh, indicates that the track will move on to the next one. I can change this to a stop icon if I want the player to stop after that point. But if I want the, the tracks to, to blend well together, uh, we'll move on to the next track. As you can see, I can scroll back and forth to any time in the log. So you can see here's a bunch of tracks that, that didn't play because I, I wasn't running the program. Uh, but I can actually scroll to any point in the future, actually. I'm now into like uh, a week in the future and you can drag and drop tracks into any hour in the future. If I want to get back to where I am, I can just hit the home button and that will stay in sync. So when this is underlined, this will indicate that it's going to move the log up as time moves on. When it's not underlined, it will stay focused in that one spot. So as you can see, I've got Sam and the Womp here. If I want to record a voice track, all I need to go to is special and voice track and drop that onto my log. By default, this will be 30 seconds long and we'll just insert a placeholder here. If we want to record this voice track, just hit the record icon and this will bring up the segue editor. Now you might be familiar with this if you've been using play at voice track. What we've got here is the record icon. So all you've got to do is press the record icon and it will start recording my voice. You'll hear a bit of Sam and the Womp now and when we'll play the following track, which is Sleigh Bells, let's record a voice track. It's Sam and the Womp there and Bomb Bomb, it's Jason Allen here on your Play It Live demonstration. I'm going to play a bit of sleigh bells now. This one is Come Back Kids. Okay, and our voice track sounds a bit like that. We can drop in here and we can trim this voice track down uh, to get rid of anything we, we don't want to hear. And we can pull that sleigh bells in so we can pull the the track in to, to about here. And we can dip the volume a little bit to, to get the... to sort of make sure that our voice is over the top. And we can hit save and it will drop the voice track in there, uh, cue it all up so it's the, the right length. And let's hear what that sounds like. Look out with the bass and drum, going around like bum bum bum. It's Sam and the Womp there, and bum bum, it's Jason Allen here on your Play It Live demonstration. 
Gonna play a bit of Sleigh Bells now. This one is Come Back Kid. And as you can hear there, that uh, voice track came in straight after the track, exactly as we set up the segue. So you've seen the segue editor that lets us line up the tracks. You've seen the voice tracking, and I've just got to show you the default segue option. So, so under settings, you can go to uh, live assist mode, and you can choose stop for your default segue. So when I drop a track in to my log, it will automatically be set to stop, which means that after Alex Clare, no more tracks will play in semi-automatic or manual mode. In automatic mode, of course, tracks will automatically play one after another. So that's the new features in Play It Live version 1.12. You can download from playitsoftware.com forward slash live. And if you have any questions, feel free to add them to the comments below. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software.